Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are doing FS19 again, and we are going to see which is better, John Deere or Case IH. So I bought all these tractors; they're all fairly equivalent. Just bought the the base model one, and uh, Case IHs are a little more expensive, but John Deeres have a little bit less horsepower for the most part. So. And uh, the test we're going to be doing is they have to pull this trailer, which is full of seed, up this hill. Obviously the little ones will just see how far they get and, and speed, and the big ones will just see like how fast they go up, because the big ones can probably make it up. They might, might get caught on here, but we'll see how it goes. So to start off, I guess we'll just do the little Maxim 145 here. The starting line is front wheels even with this little spruce tree I've placed here. Three, two, one. Full power. Let's see what it's got. Five was the highest top speed I saw. I don't think it'll make it up. It's trying. I don't know when to call this a fail. But I mean, it's still moving, so I don't really want to. Okay. The top speed we saw was five. Now let's see how the little John Deere does. I don't know who's going to take the cake on this. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Six. So the highest top speed I saw was six. You know, I think the John Deere is the winner of this one. It went up faster. Oh, but it's sliding down. Not really sure what to call it. I think the case I should go again, because I'm not sure if it hit 5 or 6. I want this to be fair, so... I'm going to do another run in that one. I mean, I think the John here did better, but just want to double check. There we go. Okay, this one hit seven, but it slows down a lot sooner. Okay, so the John Deere had a point where it just stopped and then rolled back. The Case IH just keeps on going. And if you had all day, it might actually make it up. So now once once the wheels of the trailer hit, it's gonna start to feel the weight more and not make it up. But Oh, 
Okay, there it just failed. I think the case H is the winner of that because it went faster and I feel like it went further too. So next we will do the case H P well. The bigger tractor. There we go. And three. Two, one. Seven is the pass as it went. And it stops, so it's not going to go any further. So, seven. That actually was an okay run, it looked like it might have made it, but then it just hit that point where it started to spin. Next we will do the 6R, competitor to the Puma. See how she performs. Three, two, one. Okay, it hit eight. John Deere wins, it went faster. So the John Deere, so far they each have one point. Alrighty, then next we're on to the Case IH Optum. Actually, let's first just check some prices here. So the Case IH that won the first round was 112,000. The John Deere was 119, so the Case IH definitely won that. The second round, Case IH was 188. The John Deere was 228, so... It did a little bit better and is way more expensive. Forty thousand, or yeah, forty thousand dollars more expensive. Case IH is probably better for the money, but the John Deere is a more powerful tractor. So next up is the Case IH Optum. This tractor probably won't do much better than the, that 6R. Okay, three, two, one. It hit nine. Nine kilometers per hour. Now when are we gonna get a tractor that can actually make it up this thing? Uh, well, not, not this tractor. So nine kilometers per hour. Okay, then we're gonna compare this to the 7R. These are all fairly equivalent. Kind of the same price range, power range from both companies. Sadly, performance matter doesn't yet have a big uh, articulated John Deere. So I, I couldn't do a comparison with the Case IH quad track. There's no tractor to compare it to yet, but uh, anyway, John Deere 7R. At the same speed as the Case IH. got stuck in the same spot. I call that equivalent. Mm -hmm. 
Now we'll just check some prices and horsepower. So the 7R is 238,000 and it has 269 horsepower. The Optum has 288 horsepower, so a bit more horsepower. And it's $2,000 more. Considering specs, I say John Deere wins. John Deere 2, Case IH 1. Next, we're... Case H Magnum. Am I in the I'm in the Optum? Magnum. Case H Magnum. Starting in three, two, one. Hit only nine kilometers per hour. This this looks like not a very good run, honestly. I think John Deere's gonna win this. Still pulling, barely. Um, yeah, no, I don't think it's pulling anymore. John Deere 8R. I think this one will, will trounce the Magnum. That was not very impressive, honestly. I was, I, was expect, I was hoping for a little better from the Magnum. Okay. John Deere 8R. It's the same speed. 9. It's pulling. Just starts to spin. What kind of tractor is required to pull that up? I don't know. So they, they had equivalent runs at both at the same speed that hoping for a little more from those bigger tractors. But let's compare some specs. So the John Deere costs twenty two thousand dollars cheaper and has way less horsepower. Way less. So the clear winner is John Deere. Cheaper, less horsepower, performed the same. So John Deere has three case H1. Now the question is, what kind of tractor is required to pull this thing up? If I get out like a full-blown top-of-the-line one of these, can it even do it? Alrighty, there, let's go. So this one's full 435 horsepower, twin wheels, and it does it. Okay, so you get the more powerful one and it can do it, it's just the base model that can't. How can the more powerful 8R do it? the last test I'm gonna do. If we get a full-blown 8R haul-out twin wheels. Twin wheels. 
8400 six four hundred and fifty horsepower <laughs> I think this will do it easy. The John Deere with way less horsepower performed the same as the Case IH. So, one with more horsepower should be, should in theory, perform better. Right. There's the starting point. Three, two, let's just go. I feel like the John Deere did that easy, easier. Well, that's it for today. John Deere is the winner.